What's up guys, welcome to the full review of the Rem Magic 9 Pro Plus. So I'm going to do this uh, original style. I'm not gonna really use that audio editor unless I see votes um, and you can go vote on my channel. Um, I won't have the poll closed, um, so I'll, I'll constantly be checking it to see what you guys prefer for audio. But as of right now, I'm gonna keep the background noise and everything uh, just as is, and I'm gonna try to edit out the tinny sound, but let's get right into it. So first off, we have basically uh, the phone, it is a, uh, it's, I believe it's like a 3000 something by 1100 something. I don't have the exact um, display resolution, but it is 400 PPI. If you have the 8S Pro or the 8 Pro, it is the same resolution display. Um, and you have as well the under display camera at 16 megapixels. It is going to be inhibited basically by the front facing camera being under the glass. So keep that in mind. Um, and if we look at just the panel real quickly, um, you know, it's, it's a nice front panel, you know what I mean? Like in terms of, uh, lighting and being able to see it in the sun, um, it's really not that much different than any other phone. It has about 1600, uh, nits of brightness. Uh, don't focus on nits of brightness. I honestly think that's something that Apple, um, focused on to get attention off of, uh, the fact they haven't really done anything new. Um, increasing device brightness doesn't mean it's a new feature. It's, it's literally just kind of a bogus thing. Uh, it's pretty gimmicky to be honest. So yeah, I would basically not pay attention to that. It's not really a big deal at all. Um, other than that, on the side here, we have basically, uh, physically, um, you know, you have an antenna here, an antenna here. Um, I have the Dark Knight edition. Um, it's not like Batman or anything. They just call it that. Um, wait for this thing to focus. Um, let me see here. Yeah, sorry about that, y'all. Um, there we go. Sweet. You see the speaker grill, all of that. We're going to go around to the bottom. Um, we have a, uh, we have the speaker right here, or excuse me, there's the speaker grill here. There is the microphone here. Um, there is the SIM tray here. Uh, I looked, there's no micro SD card slot or anything like that. So if you're hoping for that, uh, unfortunately that's not the case, but it does have a terabyte of storage, which is nice. Um, and yeah, so you won't be lacking on storage. So right here we have the, uh, the trigger button. So this is actually, um, increased the response is increased by about 20% and they increased the real estate for this, basically how much space it takes up by about 90%, which is actually really awesome. And instead of them being convex being popped out, they're actually pretty concave. Like they, uh, go under. So you, you actually kind of know where it is. Um, but I really do like the fact that they made it more responsive, um, and they made it, uh, concave and bigger. Um, I think it's really nice too, that it has a sort of a soft touch feel to it. It really feels kind of like a uh, button of sub of sorts. So yeah, um, here, I believe, I don't know if this is a microphone or some kind of sense. I don't know exactly what this is. It might be a microphone, maybe for speakerphone. Uh, so it looks like to me, let me know in the comments if you know exactly what that is. Um, but yeah, so here we have another antenna. Um, the antennas are uh, 5G. I am on uh, Google Fi, which uses T-Mobile's network, which is, uh, you know, 5G, a 5G network uses as 4G LTE and it uses G GSM uh, towers as well. Uh, sorry for yelling, but yeah, basically that. So um, I don't have the specifics on all of the band types if you just look up red magic 9 pro plus pro plus uh you know band types uh you'll find that um so yeah so the next thing we have is this uh the switch it has a bit of a interesting looking texture on it, it looks pretty sweet to me i'm gonna try to get the focus on that so you guys can see the there we go see it has a little bit of a um pattern uh it's like slanted um yeah basically that. So this is the power button. Uh, I've mentioned this, that I really enjoy this uh, and my other one, but yeah, it really allows you to differentiate if you're not looking between this and uh, the power button. And I also think it's pretty nice that they made it a little clicky. Um, in terms of the movement, it's in there pretty sturdily. Um, still movable. It's not like super sturdy in there, but it's not really that loose. Uh, this is a lot better. This is kind of moves back and forth a little bit, but, but yeah, here's the volume rocker. Um, and then here is the other, the other fan um, opening and then another antenna band and the, I, I guess you would say the, it looks like the right, but it's the left trigger. Um, yeah. And so what you also have to, you're going to see later in the video, but this has RGB lights underneath it, RGB lights underneath here. 
Um, and on the top, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I believe this might be an IR blaster. Yeah, maybe correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really want to say that. It could be other some kind of sensor too. I don't know exactly what it is, but it'd be cool if it was an IR blaster. Looks like it, but yeah. Here's another speaker. Um, and here's another microphone, I believe. Um, and if I'm wrong on the microphones, let me know. But that's what it looks like. Uh, and then here are the uh, wonderful, what do you want to call it? Oh, there's also a, a speaker piece right here as well. Um, but yeah, uh, what do you call it? Here's more bands. And then, yeah, so that's the sides of the phone. Uh, like I said, on the front, you have the wonderful setup. And yeah, and then what do we have on the back? So right here we have a... Um, uh, these are two Samsung lenses, actually. They use Samsung lenses for the phone. One is from a, a J series uh, phone, and then the other one is from the actual Streamline uh, Galaxy model, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to actually pull up that. Uh, so I, I looked up the info. I apologize. Uh, one second. I think my phone is actually dead. But basically, it's uh, one is a J series uh, lens, and then the other one is a, um, uh, a mainline series lens. So yeah, they're both uh 50 megapixels and then you have a tiny wide angle one i believe that's two megapixels very tiny but that's okay and then here is the fan the fan uh lights up blue and then the only on here at least uh the only other uh thing that illuminates is right here which is the nine i think it's very clean so this goes blue this one goes pink yellow i think it actually goes based on your battery which is actually pretty sick uh if you can see here we have the red magic thing down here this one feels very like sticky to the touch feels a lot like the old back here is a kind of a squeaky sort of yeah, and then here, it's the same material as that over there. Um, you have the Red Magic logo. You have uh, a little bit of a string thing up here. or uh, There's a line that goes over here. And then it says, uh, uh, win more games. That's their, their tagline. Um, and then you have a dual LED flash right here. So yeah, that is the physical outside. Obviously, I got the black Dark Knight, Dark Knight edition. Um, and so let's get into software. Uh, the next thing you'll notice is uh, first, it has Android 14, which is really nice. I already got an update. I think it's 9.0.16 right now. Um, it could actually be a lower number, but that's uh, what I'm thinking. The Android version is 14. That was the actual Red Magic software. Um, if you're thinking negatively about the, the software, uh, they do a pretty good job of making it stable. They've had a lot of time. They talk about updates. And now let me uh, reassure anybody who is nervous about updates. Uh, the reality is they're only going to update <laughs> frequently the Chinese models from what I've gotten. Um, they still haven't put Android 13 on the 8 and they still are, was the 8 Android 13 actually? Yeah, they haven't done, I don't, I don't remember exactly what version was on the 8. Um, it might've been 12 or 13, but I know they didn't do a major upgrade with the 8. With the 8S, it still doesn't have uh, Android 14. And this, this does have Android 14. I don't know if they're working on Android 14, but it seems like this uh, it's something that they say they're going to do and then they don't. They just rely on people getting the new model. Um, they kind of also neglect the international model. You'll get a few updates, but I got way more updates on these Chinese models, which is why I get them every single time. I got about five on my 8S Pro, uh, Pro Plus, which was nice. Uh, five or six updates, actually, because I recently just got another update. Um, and yeah, so you do get software updates on the Chinese model. Make sure you buy that one. Um, you can get the international one. It's not going to be that bad. The software isn't going to be horrible either. Um, but yeah. So let's get right into it. I kind of uh, just talked a lot there. But yeah, so we have the camera right here. Let's just go into the camera. Um, so yeah, like I said, 50 megapixels. It'll take a nice picture of this old box that I had. Boom, go in here. You know, you do the old zoom. You can zoom in and out. It's got the Red Magic 9 Pro Plus logo thing. You can take, uh, you can remove that if you want. But yeah, so you know, you have also the convex uh, pop out there. The You know, the, the photo looks good. You know, you have, um, it actually will tell you the millimeters of the lenses. So you have a 24 millimeter lens and you have a 14 millimeter lens. And if you go to the front, um, I don't think it says that. I think it's literally because you only have one option. Um, you can do filters, you know what I mean? Um, let's see here. Yeah, the camera is uh, exactly what you expect. It really feels like a VGA camera, WVGA camera. Um, if that's actually the right, that might be a display thing. I don't know. I don't know all the camera terms, so forgive me about that. I fortunately know a little bit about phones, but yeah, so you have, uh, you know, all your filters, everything like that. Um, you have the pro mode, which allows you to go in and see everything from interval to EV to AF. Uh, so autofocus, ISO, uh, white balance, uh, and the stability. I don't know exactly what, or saturation maybe. Um, and yeah, you can just do this. Uh, I think that might be actually, is that flipping the camera? I don't know. You can do, 
something here. Um, there's basically, uh, you get all of the um, photo options you get on an, an iPhone, actually, in terms of uh, just like the options for promo, which is sweet. You got camera family. So you have a uh, star trail, starry sky, uh, elect electronic aperture, light draw, snow mo uh, slow motion, time lapse, full size, macro photos, document, ID photo. You might be able to scan in here. I actually want to see this. Uh, ooh, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, but you can go, I think you just hit this again or go back. Yeah, you just go back again. But yeah, you have all these uh, things like, you know, effect factory, clone, multi exposure. Um, if you want a in-depth camera video, I will go ahead and do all the software features in here, but I wanted to just go over the general ones that I noticed right away. So yeah, you have the pro, regular photo mode, you have video. So if you're worried about video, rest assured, you can switch between the lenses, which is nice. Um, and you can also go ahead and change the quality. So you have all these qualities, 720p, 1080p, 4K, 8K, 30 frames per 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second, which is pretty freaking sweet. So you can go in here, you can do effects and you can make sure to have the grid if you want to line things up. I do believe uh, you might not have the ability to go into that uh, when there's 60 frames per second or the quality is too high. Um, but yeah, so you have, you know, video encoder, encoder format. You can do tracking autofocus, double click the screen to select the subject and focus. Even, uh, okay, yeah, basically it'll, it'll follow anything in the photo and keep the focus on that. Um, but yeah, like I said, the, and, uh, the Samsung lenses are a big step up and I really think it's cool. Maybe they had it prior to, um, oh, also random, but the phone is 8.9 millimeters thin and they basically made it seem like it was dropping from 9.6 millimeters to 8.9. It's actually the same thickness as last year's model. Um, and yeah, they just don't have that pop out. The camera popped out. It's actually in the phone, which looks really great. You just saw it. But yeah. So right back to what we're talking about volume key. You can take the photo with that. You can also adjust it. So you can go zoom volume, shutter sound, intelligent power saving location photographer. Um, yeah, you can change the name. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So you can, uh, and you can hit reset at the bottom. Um, you have the flash, you can turn it on. Um, you have the night mode. So night mode is actually pretty sweet. Um, and then you, it actually works pretty well. And then you have the portrait mode. Um, which is, you know, that's actually pretty cool. It tells you to go 1.5 meters away. Um, I don't know what that is actually in feet. Um, I'm gonna look that up or, uh, you know, and I don't know if that's even the right unit of measurement. Apologies on that. I don't want to sound like a dumbass, but if I did apologies again, but yeah, so you can adjust the aperture, um, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you can turn on beauty mode. You can basically will enhance the photo. Um, and then, yeah, you can go down here again. Um, you can also do a timer. So when you want it to basically take the shot, uh, like I said, the grid and then the, uh, gradienter, I don't really know. Maybe it'll add some sort of like gradient on top. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, let's go see if they had any different kinds of, uh, filters other than the ones we just saw. Um, let's see here. Yeah, nature, moonlight, pink, blah, 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 white dew, sweet, Japanese, blue, beautiful, sweet. So, yeah, we got all that. That's the camera, guys. Um, yeah, so we got the home screen. Um, you know, a 6.8-inch display, looking fresh. Uh, you have the ability to customize it. I have the actual just base Android setting. So uh, let's go into customization. Um, so you can align it with the top. Let's see what that does. Uh, okay, or align with the bottom. I don't know if it's going to shift everything down. Um, oh, that's cool, yeah. So it'll adjust the the keys and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Or excuse me, it will adjust the apps. So it's pretty sweet. So you have that, um, you have the, it'll let you know what the home screen is. You know, you can go over here and you can move or move things around. Um, at the bottom, we have wallpaper. So we can go into wallpaper. I'll show you guys all the different ones. So there's recently used wallpapers. We have all of these. Um, these are just like live wallpapers I use. They have a planet one. They have a nice looking, uh, just, uh, design right here. Um, and it looks good to me. Um, and yeah, so you can just go to the recently one, used ones you have. Uh, you can download ones. Uh, I don't have a Nubia account. Um, I don't know how to get one here in the U.S. I think it's only something specifically to China. Um, but yeah, basically you have that. And then Inspired Wallpapers. This is the, I believe this is, these are the um, the ones where you can play games and stuff like that. So um, yeah, they, they actually, oh wow, looks like there's a little bit more. Um, so here, you know, you can play like a game, right? So let me set this one again. Um, I'll show you guys, I showed you guys prior to, but this is pretty sweet that, um, you know, you can hit play and then you can do, whoop. okay. Yeah. I died really fast, but clearly you get the idea. Uh, and if I was good, things would be totally different boys. That's for sure. 
yeah, there's a bunch of those. Oh, actually, let me see here. It's by wallpapers. Let's see what the settings has. Uh, add desktop icon. Um, oh, okay. And then about, uh, it'll tell you. So ch you can check for a new version of this super wallpaper thing. Um, and it'll update it. And then you have a user agreement and privacy policy. We're going to go in and read everything about it. No, I'm just joking. We're not going to do that, of course. But, oh, you have like, <laughs> dude, tic-tac-toe. It's pretty, oh, okay, yeah, cool. Then you can download them. You can play, um, is that a word game? It looks like. Um, dude, that's really, okay, that's pretty sick. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, back. I don't really wanna play tic-tac-toe, but yeah. So you have, uh, you can download them like you just saw. You can do KVI wallpapers. I uh, don't know what Chinese characters those are, and I don't really know. Is this like a server thing, or what's going on here? Um, so yeah, you can get your little waifu, um, the way you want, or whatever. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I don't really use the waifu. I don't know if I can disable the waifu, but yeah. So there's breakthrough. Uh, it's kind of cool. You know, it looks like it's like their logo you, that you saw on the back. Uh, you have future. So we can go in the future one. Um, we can see that there are only three there, but they do look pretty sweet. You have the Red Magic Warrior, the classic setup. Um, you have the uh, Metal Marines. Uh, nice. So these, yeah, these are some live ones that look pretty sweet. You know, you go in and apply them. There's the Metaverse one. These are uh, the ones I saw on the 8, so I didn't really change that up. You have the Space City, all of that. You have the Helix, which I picked. I picked this one. Um, you have planets that move around, you know, they, they spin and rotate and all that, and they're over different terrains. I think that's pretty sweet. I, uh, I might do the Earth one. So it has both. No, I'll just do home, I guess. Um, I wanted to do both, but I didn't. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so Sky Eye, and then you have um, some of these. So they, yeah, they look pretty sweet. Then you do more wallpapers. Uh, it'll actually go into the theme store. But like I said, you do need a Nubia account to download them, I believe. So let's see, let's see if I just try to download something. Yeah, I need an account. It's really actually hard to make the account. I don't really know why um, they make it so difficult. But yeah, you can, you can, so you can if you get a newbie account. I'm gonna try to figure out how to do this. But yeah, you can download the AODs and all that stuff. So what, if you know what that is, always not display. They have the um, ranking, and if you have it, the international global model, they're gonna have the similar store. But you can actually just sign it with like Google or something, so you can actually use it. But yeah, uh, and like you know, they look pretty sweet. So you can go uh, theme personalization all that. I don't really want to get into it. Um, yeah, that's nice. Thanks guys for beeping. Um, I don't know what kind of photos I have in here. So that looks like it's a personal photo thing. I don't know what I have and I don't want to surprise anybody. Other live wallpapers. Uh, it's probably just live wallpapers downloaded from the internet that you do yourself. Um, yeah, so we covered those. You can move the apps around, of course. Um, I think you can actually just do that by shaking them, um, or whatever. Yeah, you can move it around. You put it wherever you want. Uh, shout out to Android over Apple all day, boys. Um, we got the home screen switch. If you switch home screen space, the home screen layout, wallpaper, and theme will change. Are we gonna switch? Boom. Okay, yeah, it'll 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 shift up to uh, whatever. I'm gonna go back to the other one I had. Um, it'll go back to the one you had prior, um, and then yeah, you can go here and you can do widgets. So what do we have for widgets? We have the game helper, game space, contacts, search two. Uh, so there's it's like you know each one there's like a search thing. I also there's a lot of AI um, implemented into this phone, um, and yeah. So we have, and I'll go over maybe some of the specs in a second. I just want to kind of get through this real quick. So there's the battery uh, widget. You know what I mean? If you want to add a widget, you just uh, touch it, I believe. And then you can get a different one. So let's do this one. Um, yeah, hold it and drag it and then put it here. And then I think, can you resize it? I don't think you can. Um, and that's okay. But yeah, you have the different battery ones. They look pretty cool. You have a uh usage statistics thing based on in you know it's based on the time and everything like that i think this is going to be chinese characters um or and there's different z assistant things like the accelerator that's pretty sweet so you have screen time screen time again we have the storage cleaning and it tells you the um the format of basically how much space it's going to take up on your home screen you have app freezer oh this is actually pretty useful so if you don't know what app freezer is it basically allows you to put uh, it's like allows you to disable applications but even further to where it actually temporarily kind of, I think it strips more of the app out of your phone. So it takes up less space and it uh, really ensures that it stays disabled and doesn't let the app reactivate itself, um, which is pretty, uh, pretty awesome actually. So yeah, you got the, um, let's see here. Yeah. So in here you have Z assistant, you have like nine different ones. Like you said, there's recommended apps. There are the clocks. Let's go into recommended apps, see what they have here for us. Uh, there's the different layouts. Cool. Okay. And then you have the, uh, 
the clock and stuff like that, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I think actually that looks sweet. I'll do that one. Reminds me of the old, um, old one. Yeah. So I guess like, you know, you have alarm and clock and then stopwatch and timer. You have all the basic clock features. Cool. So yeah, actually one sec. Wait, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, so apply a mask, boiled egg. Oh, okay. So I guess you can set. So that also looks pretty sweet. That design. Um, it looks like it's kind of raised off the phone. It looks pretty dope. You can add uh, another one. You can do preset times. I think these are just timers. Yeah, for different things, which is pretty sweet. Um, they have the obviously default ones they added, but you can add any kind of timer you want, and that's actually pretty sweet. You know, the timer thing seems pretty useful. You have alarm duration. <laughs> Wait, okay. I'm gonna, dude. Awesome, bro. I can <laughs> volume crescendo. So you can increase the volume um to maximum in 15 seconds. So I guess over time it might increase. Um. Uh, and then there's sound in silent or vibrant mode. So yeah, also with the crescendo thing, you're going to notice like, you know how you notice they have this with their other phones. Like, I think they just, sorry for stumbling over my words. Um, I think they just basically put a name to something that other phones do. Like, you know, if you have an alarm, it's like, do, 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 do. It like, kind of picks up in volume. And that's what the crescendo thing is. It's basically just allowing you to, I guess, have it uh, increase slowly versus immediately. And I think the transition is pretty good. Um, I like that alarm duration setting. That's pretty sweet. So key press settings. So you can set the volume and power button or alarm control. You can basically set what the hardware buttons do to snooze. Um, you can do snooze and disarm and alarm tap to snooze, turn over to dismiss. Cool. Um, Ooh, maybe not. Cause I think I'm going to be fucking throwing this phone around. I might break it. Just fucking you know what I mean? Just, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, so you have the timer tone, you can change up the... That's really annoying, that'll get me up. Um, and you have the about uh, version, you can check for updates. It's pretty sweet, you can go in each app and do check for updates. Uh, always making sure the apps are up to date on the Nubia end, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, right, we're gonna go in here and clear that out. But actually, real quick, so yeah, you go in here, um, and you can do... Uh, you know, you can clear the apps out, you can lock them, everything uh, that Android basically has. Uh, you're going to see a lot of familiar Android things in here with Nubia's skin, but, uh, you know, Nubia has been improving. Stop, you know, listening to all this crap about the phone not working and all that stuff. This is a really great phone, guys. Um, it's really powerful. Um, and I guess speaking of power, guys, we have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. We have 24 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM. We have a, um, they have their own chip. It's like something core to one second i'm gonna get the name of it actually because i wrote that down uh, because it was a bit confusing um so, so yeah they have the uh uh red core r2 pro which is a um and i wrote it down this is going to seem super inauthentic <laughs> because i had to write it down but basically um it it's a it, it's basically an ai chip that will be used to um adjust the phone based on your habits your gaming style um and it uses intelligent learning um in the user's gaming operations. Um, and it basically optimizes the overall vibration, lighting, sound, and other personalized settings based on how you want to use it. And then, um, yeah. And then actually, so for the cameras again, it's a 50 megapixel Samsung GN5 lens with, that's the main camera. And then a 50 megapixel Samsung JN1 ultra wide angle lens. Um, and then there is a dual camera combination. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that was what I wrote down for that. And then, um, yeah. So that's basically the, what you have at least uh, for this is a Red Core R2 Pro that combined with the mother trucking dope freaking thing, boys. Um, uh, the, the dope freaking thing that I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, that combined with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. So, so far I've seen um, that the, it works pretty well. Um, for some reason, some app formatting has been a bit off. Um, that's kind of weird. I think that's just something they'll have to adjust or the apps will have to sort of, I think it's apps adjusting to uh, Android 14. Um, and I, I don't think all apps are really optimized for that yet. I don't really know. It's it's still pretty new and I could be completely wrong. So, you know, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Always open to critique and criticism for a dollar. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, so we got the widgets like I showed you guys. You know, there's all, there's the calendar. There is, um, uh, the calendar's looking good. It is Chinese characters. I don't know if the language setting will shift over or not, but uh, you can get Google Calendar, get the widgets. That's the thing too. You can always download new widgets from the store. Um, if you're coming over from an iPhone, Android has like hundreds, uh, probably 
probably thousands of widgets. They've been having widgets since day one. So you can guarantee you're going to get way more widgets on this side versus iOS. So you have system UI things. You can do a screen lock toggle, which is pretty sweet. And then you can do settings. And then let's see the calendar things real quickly. Um, yeah, so you got this format, you know, it's a three by three. You have an agenda four by two. You have a calendar. So you can, yeah, you can, I guess you can have your agenda, which is just your plan for the day. It will show. That's actually pretty sweet. And then did we go into this one? Um, the clock ones real quick. Yeah, we have all that one. We did that. Okay, yeah. So that's the customization with the widgets, which is pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. So you can swipe over here and you can do effect. So what effects are we talking about? We have the normal, we have the cross flip wave cube out we have cube in we have glass okay that is freaking awesome guys we need the cross flip boom are we gonna do the wave Ooh, that's kind of cool it's tablety um cube in cube out cube uh that's cube in cube in looks kind of cool uh and then we have glass and then yep we have the normal setting which looks pretty freaking sick boys all right tight so now we have and if you're looking at all these games like why won't you play them uh, i do have a video coming out where i'm going to go into depth on gameplay i'm going to play maybe a few games on this uh but yeah i'll have a video um where i go and play all these games i have downloaded here they're all set up which is pretty nice i know you got a lot of you guys were requesting games and uh, i definitely want to deliver on that for y'all but yeah so we have the effects and then theme and personalization. This is the best parts. So we have uh, themes. You go in here, you have hyper futurism, you have glassy rhythm, Android, you have the shadow number, red magic warrior, and you have future tech. So they look all pretty sweet. I chose the classic Android feel because you can't go wrong with that. You can do downloaded themes from the store. As you guys saw earlier, they have everything you can download, especially if you get the international model, you're going to be able to download this stuff. If you get the Chinese model um, and you're not in the, not in China, I think we're shit out of luck. Um, but that's okay. I'm not too in a customization anyway. So you have, you have lock screen settings. We can actually go in here. We can change up the lock screen clock style, which is pretty freaking dope. Um, you know, looking through, we have all of these different ones. I guess I'll, you know, go slow again for um, just you guys' sake so you can see them all. Mm. Guys, that dog? Okay, yeah, this pedometer and then a lock screen signature. We're going to ignore that dog. I think that guy's taking care of it, which is nice. Yeah, you can do... Uh, actually, I like that a lot. Uh, you guys can see how many steps I haven't taken. <laughs> but yeah, so we have that. We can go in and customize the lock screen. So that's pretty freaking sweet. Of course, you can set the lock screen wallpaper as well in the wallpaper settings. Oops. Uh, we're going to go to... Yeah, right here. Back to the thing. So then you have wallpaper. Of course, uh, you guys saw the wallpapers earlier um and then you have the icons um you can set the shape of them this is a lot like nova launcher um do we want the iphone shape do we want the i like the android circle um so you can beautify a third party app icons so you can, you can use an effect that comes with the app icons um uh yeah so that's pretty freaking sweet um and they're gonna basically apply this these sort of apps basically they have an app theme installed right and they're gonna you know apply whatever ones they have for specific apps of course some aren't gonna have you know icons on them but i do believe if you really want to get into deep customization that is actually past all of this you can actually just get nova launcher or apex launcher that's the thing about android is you can get launchers that basically um you know make the home screen experience completely different so you can you can use this launcher or you can use another launcher and that's the beauty of android that i uh believe that we have over any other os right now which is just ios but yeah so um there's the desktop wordless mode so application folders and all that they don't uh say words that's pretty cool but i i do like the words underneath um yeah you can you know apply the changes and then we can go over here to lock screen wallpapers so you can turn it on or off and then you can do uh show lock screen wallpaper when the screen is on so you can swipe to you can swipe left to call the lock screen wallpaper when the screen is on if the switch is off hmm, that's pretty interesting okay um nice yeah so if that interests you it's kind of cool you can do animations you can do slow i'm gonna do fast i always like the snappy sort of uh thing you can you can do color and shape like we had before but you can also change up the colors this is a android uh exclusive feature you're gonna get this on all android phones but i think they do take advantage of this there's preset color combos let's try this one i don't know it's kind of random but but yeah um you know, watch, it's applied, everything kind of has a new hue to it. It's kind of, kind of interesting. You know what I mean? It's cool. 
Um, yeah, so uh, we can go back to this theme and personalization thing that we have going on here. Um, you can do color and shape, you can do font. We can go in here and we can do uh, these ones. You can actually download uh, different ones. You have to have the account, of course, but like, and these are uh, Chinese character fonts. Um, but if you get the international model, you're gonna have one stuff for your specific language. But of course, um, I have the Chinese model, so kind of have to deal with that. But I did want the plus version, which is the 24 gig and one terabyte model, which is something you can get with the Chinese version that you can't get with the other ones, I believe. Um, so if RAM is something important to you, go ahead and go with this. And also with the specs, uh, you have up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM. We're gonna go ahead and, and see that in the settings when I go through every single uh, setting. But yeah, let's get through the fingerprint portion um, right here. So we have the uh, light strip after the font. So yeah, we can go in here, light strip settings, set a different light, set different lighting effects on the back or the sides of the phone for different scenarios. Yeah, so you can basically change up the ones over there. Um, and then, so you have power saving mode, which is pretty freaking awesome. Also, automatically disable the light effect when the battery is below 20%. That's pretty sweet. You can also do a super power saver. I'll show you guys in a bit, um, but it actually is the coolest thing I've ever seen. So you have the competitive atmosphere. So steady lighting up. Um, oh, okay, so if you're playing games, so LED flash during the games. Um, ooh, we can do breathe. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so if you guys can see, it'll go from here to here. The different but yeah here's the first look at the lights i've been talking about this entire time in my videos and i think they look good it looks a lot like the pulse that android had when um you know you got a notification when there were blinking led lights or blinking notification lights uh, very classic this one is very flush and it doesn't have a lot of lighting and i think it actually adds to the um the nice part of this phone you can select the color um i believe it looks like there are whole number whole colors here and there aren't very many uh custom ones um, yeah, but I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, you can do the media LED. Yeah. So it looks like you can have the flashing, yeah, you can do media atmosphere. You can go here and then I'm going to turn all of these on. Yeah, that's on. So notifications, incoming calls, it's all the same settings and everything for them. So if you see me rushing through, that's why, um, you have the charging, um, and then you have the alarm clock as well. You can go ahead and turn that on. Boom. Uh, we can go yellow for the alarm clock, just kind of random. But yeah, they don't have those uh, super color, I guess like, it's kind of a bummer. I'm a bit disappointed on that, that they don't have the fun mixed colors like on the other ones, but that's okay, kind of. I'm just kidding, it's fine. Um, so always on display. So these are always fun, dude. Um, you know, it'll display, basically if you have the screen off, it's gonna display uh, for 10 seconds and then it'll shut off completely, um, which is pretty sweet. So you have the whole my style things you have the um you know the owl that i picked and then this was the default one that came with it so you have salted fish i uh, got this i keep thinking i'm gonna move this on the other one but yeah so you got salted fish you gotta look looks like a i don't know what that is to be honest if you guys can figure that out let me know <laughs> but yeah you have all these different ones for aod's they look pretty sweet you have your your waifu um not my waifu brah <laughs> I, I reject the Mora character. I do not like the Mora character. Um, and we have the freaking awesome, um, uh, what do we call it? It's more AODs, the animated AODs, right? So let me start, let me go back again, just real slow through them so you can get a good look at each of them. Uh, the spiral one looks kind of cool. Um, that one looks cool too. There's, you know, fun different patterns. There is a, oh, that's cool. The that is anxiety inducing nothing because actually there's a cube thing um it's like a is that a tetra prism thing i don't that might even not even be what that is but yeah as you can see the owl that i chose there's digital clock you have all of the wonderful clocks you have the stock entered ones you have the custom ones this is a classic htc looking one um i don't know if you guys remember htc back in the day but that is what that is and then we have the other ones as well you can do you know oh that's cool all right so look right here you can have two different locations. So if you're flying back and forth between different spots, you're on the road and traveling, um, this is the thing for you. Yeah, so we have the digital clock uh, more. There's so many guys, wow. They really, um, and if, if you dock your phone sideways, um, you can actually have a sideways one. So that's pretty sweet if you get a little stand for it. Um, and yeah, and then we have the analog clock. Um,
Sorry, y'all. Um, we have the analog clock, different ones like that. Boom. Okay. And then we have the downloaded ones and the custom ones. So you can do a video, you can do a GIF, a picture, and text. So you can do a custom GIF uh, allow. Um, oh, okay, yeah, you can download. That's cool. You can download a GIF from online, and you can do you know your own videos, your own pictures and text. That's that's pretty sick. Um, so yeah, you can do that. And that is the always on display setting section. So we have or for customization. So we have that. We have the fingerprint boom this is always fun dude oh they, they changed it up man that's pretty sick the rubik's cube i don't have my fingerprint set up yet but i might do that um but yeah you have all the different ones i'm going to click through each one so you can see the different animations that one's kind of cool i like the first one that one's sick um this is a older one i actually think um that looks cool black hole looks sick the ripple and then you have the Boundless Infinity, um, yeah, I like that one. So we're gonna stick with the default one that I came with. And then there are effects, so like screen wake up. Uh, ooh. Um, is this one, there's a notification? Um, yeah, I think it's if there's a notification. That's, it's pretty sick. Oh, it's for, yeah, it's for notifications. So they just do a little like, ooh, that's cool. Um, that's an LED flash, man. Hell yeah. Um, and yeah, so, um, that is what we have for that. Um, let's see here. And then you can, um, yeah, so we'll go here and then scroll over and we will go ahead and get into home screen settings. So with the home screen settings, you can do, you can do the standard mode or you can do the drawer mode, right? So that's pretty sweet. So drawer mode has the application drawer, like, uh, on iOS and Android, um, you swipe up from the bottom, there's lock screen, or you can lock the home screen layout so you can basically make it so nobody adjusts it or whatever. If you're letting your like kid use it and you don't want all your stuff adjusted, you can lock it. Um, or if you don't want to move it around, you just want to keep it how it is, you can lock it, which is pretty sweet. So you have the app autofill. You can autofill empty spaces when the apps are removed. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I guess it'll allow the apps to kind of slide down. Um, and then you can loop screens. So you go from last screen to the first screen just by swiping. I, I kind of like that. Um, you know, you just swipe endlessly. I do enjoy the endless swiping. So home screen icons, you have the home screen badge app icon. Let's see that. Um, oh, okay. You can go ahead and do that. And then, oh, okay, yeah. So what it's doing is you can see right here, um, it's just showing like the different things. So you can do a dot um, where there is no thing. I personally, um, I like the dot, but it is kind of also cool showing the exact number of notifications you have per app, which is pretty nice. This is going to be, um, if you want it, I don't know if you can actually disable it, but it looks like, yeah. Okay. So you can go and you can just turn all of them off for all of your apps, but, or at least the ones that recognize, um, or have the ability to, um, have this feature, which is, you know, the notification thing on the app. So yeah, I think it's pretty sweet. Um, and then you have the app promotion render icon. Um, so you can do a, um, you can show a special icon uh, when an app has a has special activities such as sales promotion. Um, okay, um, I I don't want that, but that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, you can set a little like I think it's like little text things you can put above it or wordless home screen like we saw earlier. And then you have the recent app style, so there's normal style, and then there is the grid style. Oh, okay, I like the card style, but the grid style thing's pretty sweet too. Um, swipe down from home screen. Uh, yeah, okay, so if it's like you do this gesture, it'll do the top panel or search. I do like the top one. And then this is, so this is like, you know, um, if you have the international one, if you end up getting that, you're going to swipe and you're going to see Google and all that. Um, this is the Z board is pretty much like the Chinese version of that. Um, I turned it off because I just don't like it and it kind of drains battery and things. Um, and then they do suggestions for things you might also be looking for. So that's pretty sweet. So yeah, you get the home screen settings, you can move apps, you can do all that. And then that is the customization from what I see. So let's go into the settings. But yeah, as you can see, I have like just, you know, my apps and like, like I said, you know what I mean? It's like the whole ordeal, like swipe up from the bottom or no, there's no app drawer, but that would work. And then you can do top down, you can do over here for the toggles. And then you can do over here for the game space reminder for me playing games all day, typical move by my, by your boy. Um, yes, yeah, so we have Let's get into toggles. So we have all these, you can do edit and you can add all of these. So we have, let's just go through it. 
you know, flashlight, Bluetooth, data, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, ring, cooling fan, location, auto rotate, um, turn that on, or I guess you don't toggle things here, you move them around, but and you can, so you can take them and let's say I want this here, you can put that there, right? So you can move them around and adjust them. And then, um, what do you want to call it? And they give you a little, like, a little thing. They tell you down here to hold and drag, and then up there as well to hold and drag. And then you can reset it back to the default settings if you end up messing up and not liking what you choose. Um, so yeah, continuing, there's rain, cooling fan, location. Um, there is Z Smartcast. Of course, you guys can read what I'm going through anyway. Screen, there's a screenshot toggle. There is hotspot, uh, Red Magic Share, which is pretty much like NFC. Um, I do believe they have a separate NFC thing you can add. Yeah, right there. <coughs> Excuse me, but this is basically like Android Share, and they're probably going to have, I think they'll have Android Share, but I think the Android Share is the thing they probably should have went with instead of the Red Magic thing because it makes, uh, it pretty much limits your ability to share um, with other Android phones, and I think that's annoying. Um, uh, and I think they probably should get rid of the Red Magic Share and just go back to the inner chair and so if you're listening and you work for that company i would suggest doing that but that's just that's just me you know what i mean so yeah so we have the uh charging separation light strip they have the chinese characters i don't know what that is um we have uh, if you if you do speak chinese you can tell me what that is in the comments it'd be sick you know if you can there is records the uh, screen record you can change up the refresh rate it'll pop down a little option thing uh dark mode ultra power saver and nfc and then you have ones on your power saver so uh, Ultra Power Saver is pretty sweet. It basically will make the screen black, everything turned off, and it basically just has like five apps you can use, and that's it. It's really, really awesome. It allows you to get like a day or two out of, out of the battery. So let's say you get in some situation where like you need your battery on um, for a long time, you can turn that on and you are golden. Um, yeah, so like I said, Power Saver Night Light. This will basically uh, adjust the display to get rid of the blue lighting so you can sleep better. Uh, there is a screen lock toggle, read mode, do not disturb. Uh, the split screen Z pop. Um, I don't know what Z pop is. Their DTS sound. I like that actually in there. And then we can go ahead with the do not disturb as well. Um, I don't know if I have them in there or not, but yeah, you have uh, the active app, I guess. Um, and then you have screen pinning, um, drive mode, and incognito mode. So that's pretty sick. So, oh, that's cool. So, yeah, it won't show any, I guess it doesn't record anything, but yeah. Drive mode is useful too. I like all these, but yeah, for the sake of time, um, because we're at 42 minutes, uh, you know, I'm gonna edit this down too, so I'm not talking. Um, it's gonna cut down, so it's still gonna be a long video, but hopefully it'll be uh, a little bit less of a time constraint, I suppose. So yeah, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we got all the toggles, like I said. You know, you have, uh, I think what they do with your top four that you choose, um, they put them up here as toggles, um, and yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Um, you know, the edit, and then there's settings. Let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, and then you can just go into your regular settings. Um, so yeah, we did the notification bar. Um, so yeah, let's actually go ahead and go with this. So there's multi-screen collaboration, so you can do collaboration across devices. So, oh yeah, you can cast your phone to a big screen. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for now because I don't need it. Um, you can do the game space. Let's see here. So trigger your superpower. I think that's just when you turn the switch on or whatever. Um, then you can sign into a newbie account. Um, looks a lot like the Apple one, just kind of funny, but you have the Wi-Fi things. So yeah, you can look at all the Wi-Fi settings. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I don't really want to go into all of the detail. More settings, save networks, blah, blah, blah. And then you have Bluetooth. You can turn that on. I'll see other Bluetooth settings. So you have that. You can do information. So if you don't know what Bluetooth is, like let's say it'll tell you what Bluetooth is or how to pair. Oh, cool. So there's like, you know, how to pair and connect to a device. This device can't be found by other devices, unable to connect to wearable devices such as smart uh, smartwatch or smart band. Um, then you go in here, like, let's say I don't know how to do it. It's going to give you, wow. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. It'll give you, uh, it seems like they really want to help you out. And then the device volume is set to the maximum or minimum, but the connected devices volume is still low or high. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, and then I guess the solution to this one, I randomly thought of it, but basically, you know, you'll, uh, what you would do is you turn this all the way up and then turn the volume down on your TV so you protect it from damage. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so you got that. And then you got the mobile network thing. You got airplane mode. You can do data usage. Uh, you can go in and I'll show you all the data I've used. You can do data saver. You probably can go ahead and set a limit. Um, you, can un you can restrict apps. That's pretty sick. You can do hotspot and tethering, mobile data, SIM cards, and then you can do call setting. It gives you other options like before. 
um, and then you have the multi-screen screen collaboration, like I said. So there's more. There's touch to cast. So you can touch the NFC area the device to cast phone screen to a device such as a tablet. Be sure to turn on NFC on your other phone. Sweet. That's cool. That's really actually awesome. So you can do, uh, you can share your clipboard, transfer apps. Woo. Oh, and share files. That's actually really, really sick. Okay. So that, and then we have connected devices. Let's go into there. Um, we have the Red Magic Shares, the SmartCast, NFC, VPN. Um, and yeah, so we have private DS DNS and then connection preferences for Android Auto or, and then printing service. So we can go private DNS, automatic. Private DNS provider hostname, blah, blah, blah. Um, and there's your VPN. You can add them. You, uh, and I believe they will populate here if you download them from the App Store or whatever, which is and the App Store being the Play Store. Um, yeah, so you have Z SmartCast, um, except um, I don't know what I agreed to. Very confusing. I'm just playing. But um, yeah, so you got that. You have scan device, available devices. You have settings. Um, so you can do scan code, search cat screencasting. Um, so a lot of the things look weird because it's it's basically used to Chinese characters taking up a certain amount of space. And then when they switch it to English, it kind of goes over. So you have some stuff like this. So there's a casting sound effect. Earphone sound effect. Oh, it's kind of... Okay. Huh. There's different... Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to mess with all these, but you can go ahead and... Oh, whoa, dude, that's fucking awesome. Okay, so for screencasting, you can choose the quality of how much... Or, like, the quality you want for the display, which is really sick. That's actually pretty awesome. Uh, props to them. Uh, Double M Wave, HDMI DP screen projection. So there's privacy mode, horizontal screen display. You can change it from horizontal to probably to vertical. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, I like the horizontal personally. Wired screencast. Um, yeah, you got to plug a wire in and all that. But then sound is separate. Or did I just do that one? USB. So there's sound sources and then casting sound light. And then, yeah, you can do that. And then the sound separation under the screen. Cast. Oh, that's kind of... Oh, okay. So it looks like it will put the screen on the TV with that. I don't... Or put the sound on the TV. I don't really know exactly. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, and it's, so keep in mind, I don't really know everything about every single thing, uh, here, but one freaking second, boys. Okay, we got the scan device. I'm going to pick this up a little bit because I am at 47 minutes. You guys have been very, uh, diligent if you stuck with me for this long. But yeah, so we got scan device, other devices, settings, like we just went in. And there's the about, of course, there's NFC, private DNS, Red Magic Shares, again, blah, blah. Okay, sweet. So now we have the theme and personalization. We went into that. We have the home screen, the home screen settings like before. We have the display. So you can go in dark mode, read mode, night light, you can color mode. Um, I think what this is, is it will give you, whoa, dude, let's fucking go. Okay, so standard uh, and then soft colors and then colorful and then if you want a warm temperature, light temperature, oh, that's that's pretty sick. Okay, so clearly you can go ahead and adjust the colors on the screen. You adjust the brightness, automatic brightness, you can do sunlight mode. So it'll increase the screen brightness in strong light. Um, and yeah, it'll just notice when there is uh, sunlight or strong light and it'll, it'll raise it up, which is pretty nice. Um, you have the font you can go ahead and choose like I showed you guys earlier. And then you can do display size. And then I think what you can do is... Display, okay. Oh yeah, so it's adjusting the items on the screen. So that's pretty sweet. So you have uh, this, this, and then we have the screen timeout. We have, uh, I'm gonna move this maybe to like uh, three minutes or two minutes, that works. Okay, uh, display Gaussian blur. Uh, so the blurring effect background enhances UI content visibility and aesthetics. Okay, that's kind of cool. Enhanced display mode, so we can go like that and then it'll make it like brighter and stuff like that. Um, It'll, yeah, it's going to zap my battery, but, um, yeah. Okay. So if everything's brighter, I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. Um, okay. Boom. Yeah. I like that tiny screen display adjustment, <laughs> a teeny screen, change the brightness of a tiny screen. And then you can do that. Yeah. So if I guess if you shrink it down or something, um, and yeah, so auto rotate is on sweet, or you can do a screen rotation button, which is pretty, uh, pretty dope. And then you have the uh, notification and status bar. So you can do app notifications. Let's see here. You can do specific. You can turn them on specifically for each thing. Um, and that's pretty pretty dope. Okay, so we have this. And then we have the 
uh, show system. Um, you can, oh yeah, so you can go and actually show like detailed things you want notifications for. And then you have the show on the lock screen thing. Do not show notifications at all on the lock screen. I think that's good. Screen, uh, so screen wake up. Um, okay, so I, I kind of like them on. And then turn on the screen automatically when receiving notifications. I don't really like that. Um, full, so there's the home screen badge app icon. Like I should, oh yeah, I showed you guys earlier. Full screen notification style, simple notification and traditional notification. Um, I like the simple one, I think it looks pretty good. You have the status bar icons. You have all of these uh, things. What's here, network speed. Um, yeah, so AC voice, alarm, Wi-Fi, location, NFC, hotspot, earphone, do not disturb, silent, vibrate, airplane mode, roaming, signal, app duplicator, nice. So you have all that notification icons, show icons. Um, and then the battery percentage deep inside or deep display inside of the battery. Yeah. So we, like I said, a hundred up there, watch, it's actually crazy. It's still at a hundred. I'm not going to lie. We're doing a lot. Um, it's been 50 minutes, <laughs> dude, pretty, pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, go red magic. You know what I'm saying? Go you. <laughs> um, I'm being weird, but yeah, either way. So we have the, uh, status bar icons, time format. Um, well, yeah, time format, you can do hour minutes or you can do hour minutes and seconds or note you uh, won't display it and then pull down from the top of the lock screen the top uh, whatever and then the top panel style sweet okay and then we have the awesome sound and vibration i don't know yeah but it, okay yeah so you have uh vibrate then ring it's kind of cool ring only vibrate and uh yeah, so you can vibrate when ringing. You can change it like this. And then also, if you go to the toggle, you can go right here and you can change up all the individual ones from texting to sound to all that. And yeah, you can go back to um, adjusting here as well. And it'll obviously change it in here because this is the actual setting um, and stuff like that. And then, yeah, you get all that. Default volume, control button. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, so you can either have it change automatically the phone volume when you do this up and down, or you can have it to music videos and games. And personally, I have that because I play more games than take calls. Um, and yeah, so we have the multi-app sounds, um, multi-app volumes, control each. Oh, fuck, yes. Okay, somebody was asking about this. Um, so you can do, you can control each sound separately when apps, when multiple apps play media at the same time. Dude, that is sick. Somebody was asking about this, man. So, you know, if you're watching this and you were the one asking, there you freaking go, man. Allow multiple sounds. So you can keep media volume alongside notification sounds. Allow media sounds to overlay from multiple apps. Cool. Okay, that is actually a new feature that they added that was not in the 8S Pro, which is pretty sick. They are listening, guys. They do listen to your suggestions. If you go over to the Reddit form and you can hear, uh, you can see what people are suggesting and suggest more stuff. But yeah, so you can turn on do not disturb. You can set a timing for it at a time period. You can allow messages from uh you know, start contacts, allow calls from start contacts, uh, repeat callers, and then, yeah, so you got that, and then we can go ahead and go with the, uh, what do you want to call it? We have the phone ringtone, uh, whoa, alpha five, what is this shit? Okay. Space whispers. Um, I don't know why it's not playing, but Oh, I guess you can just set stuff. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> so loud. Okay. Yeah, anyway, so we have that. Uh, I guess there is multiple SIM cards for each side, which is pretty sick. So yeah, you have um, each things for messaging, the messaging tone, electric sports sound. Uh, I kind of like that. Okay, cool. And then you have the alarm tone. This is what scared the shit out of me this morning. Beam, motherfucking beam, 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 beam. Wake up my ass up. Okay. Yeah, and then you saw um, there was an option for custom ones or whatever, which is pretty sweet. So you have the switch to silent vibrate and then ring in silent mode and then DTS sound. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, have that on. Um, so DTS is a basically a speaker company. And uh, this is like pretty much like Dolby Atmos. It's the same thing, essentially. They, um, you know, enhances that. They're as big as uh, Dolby. Um you know, uh, I don't know if Dolby actually makes speakers, but they are basically a big audio company. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know everything there is to know about these. So if you're more into sound things, you can let people know in the comments and all that. But yeah, this, so there's smart selection uh, for the sound. There's movie. You can set it. So if you want, you're listening to music, movie, um, 
And I'm gonna do smart selection because it really just depends on what I'm doing. I don't wanna have to go in here and switch it every time. Um, more sound settings, what do we have? So dial, po dial pad tones. Oh, that's so cool, okay. Um, screen locking sound. That's <laughs> st stupid, dude. Beep. <laughs> so charging sounds and vibration, tap and click sounds. That's annoying. Hell yeah. <laughs> ringtone fade in. The ringtone will fade in during an incoming call. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So we have, that was the um, alarm thing we were talking about earlier. So we have haptic feedback as well. Um, and yeah, so we can actually go in here. We can adjust the settings. So I like the haptic feedback at low. I think it's great. Um, they actually, it's kind of a bummer. They only have three settings now. They had five settings on the other phone. So it's a bummer they took one out. Um, they might actually just be more aware of what people like though. So they probably just did that. Um, actually, wait a minute. Um, let me see here real quick. Damn. Okay. But the, yeah, it does feel better, which is good. Okay. Oops. Actually, yeah, you can see real quick what I was talking about earlier when I said you can go in and lock apps and stuff. This is kind of, oops. What the fuck? Okay. Close out all of them there. This, and then we're going to go back into settings. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, right here and we can do the okay yeah so sync mine what is this 5g smart communication let's see here um smart network sped up uh do 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 so go to settings and then mobile network speed up high speed mode dude that's great oh eh, i don't want to do that because i don't want to be using up my data but i guess uh what you can do is you can basically include your mobile network with your main one. But what mobile networks do, at least here in the U.S., is they're going to throttle you after you hit 50 gigs. So I wouldn't do this. Um, and this is coming from somebody who really doesn't pay attention to that. But they throttle us on Google Fi as well. So, yeah, it, it's not the best. Um, but, yeah, so. And then I guess these are supported apps. Um, these are the ones that support the sped up thing. So, yeah. Um and then there's all these different things, smart network searching, blah, blah, blah. It gives you all the info on that. Um, and then let's see here, AI system engine. So the CPU usage, there is, it's learning. So it's like not 100%, I guess. Um, I don't really know all the details there is to know about this, but I basically just, it's cool that they have all this stuff. So, oh, that's fucking awesome though. So they give you the battery temperature. They give you memory usage, percentage, storage usage, system running speed up. Memory scheduling mode, pure background, minimized memory usage, intelligent. Huh. Yeah, I want, I want uh, minimum. I like minimum AI cache fission. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. So this is extended RAM. Okay. Um, yeah, so look, I can go ahead and uh, this was saying where it goes to 32. I personally just like keeping it at 24, um, but I mean, 32 would be nuts, but I realized that I like how the phone functions without um, extended RAM. But I guess for the sake of this video, uh, we won't do it because I don't want to reset the phone. But yeah, you can go in here, select the RAM size, all that, and then you can do um, speed up for long term use. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is a lot to read. So I guess if you really want to pause the video and see that, that's cool. But yeah, there's a lot um, that the AI system engine is doing, which is really awesome. And I think that's what that new or that side processor that I was talking about. Z Smart Sidebar. Okay, yeah, oh, that's cool. So it's like, um, oh, yeah, yeah, like this. So that's cool. And then you can do uh, Swipe Floating Bar Gesture. Uh, I like the this okay um oh yeah so it's activation method okay yeah and then auto hide when full screen and then floating bar opacity so you can go okay yeah i like it i like it um like that i think it looks good scenario based ai recommendation scenario i god i can read great scenario ai recommendation recommend awesome great at reading guys 
Okay, yeah, basically that. And then we have the about section. You can ask questions and all that stuff. So that's, or it'll give you information on all of this. Yeah, so we have the floating window. Now, what is this? We have the, oh, see, so you can see a notification in a floating window. Um, you can see a recent app in a mini window. That's cool. You can see uh, it'll move. You can move the position of it. You can go ahead and resize it and you can do floating blah 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 i think it allows you to oh yeah you can basically adjust apps and have apps floating around when you're doing other stuff which is really sick okay cool so now we have um intellitouch what's that um accept whatever so press oh it's gestures okay so intellitouch will be unavailable for the apps okay so uh, that's cool so you can make sure that even when you're in certain apps the gestures will not um go um and yeah, so we have text processing. Okay, I, yeah, this is there's a lot to unpack here, but yeah, this is this is pretty sweet. Image recognition, that's sick, dude. I think this is a lot of what um, Samsung phones do, so that's it's pretty sick. Um, and then app recommendations, so they're gonna yeah recommend apps, and then Z Voice. Okay, so I can't use Z-Voice um, because it's not Chinese uh, on my end. I'm speaking uh, English. So, yeah. Um, what else do we have here, my dudes? Okay, we have the phone. or Now we have cooling fan, so you can go and turn it on. Then you can do fast cooling or adjustment. Fast cooling while fast charging. You can do pause the fan during calls. That's actually useful. Uh, startup light. So, light effect when the fan is turned on. Yep, and then we can do, oh, nice, dude. Okay, so we actually have an ability to do um, some variants that are actually pretty sick. So that that looks sick, I'll do that. Um, but yeah, you can see the other ones. I like that one. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so this, there's different ones you can do. Uh, oh, actually, you need flow versus. Oh, it's like, oh, that's cool. And then breathe. So let's see, breathe. Um, I personally like the new one. Is there more you can scroll down? No, okay, but it's, yeah, I like the newer one where it's just, like that uh, it's not going to show up but yeah you basically saw it earlier start up light and then fan start sound um yeah we can do i like that one. damn bro it's loud as fuck okay sorry y'all <laughs> very loud okay yeah so now we have the what do you call it the startup light and then the fan start sound all that so cool and now we have the <laughs> it's already over an hour of recording which is pretty insane i'm gonna keep uh, pick this speed up even more. So phone use balance, it'll show you all of this, the usage hours of what you've used. Um, oh, you can set daily screen time and then you can do app limits. So set the daily limits of apps, cool. And then you can do notification reminder, phone use balance, password, cool. And then you have the uh, different features. So we have a uh, system navigation, all this, and you can do gestures or virtual navigation. You can do one-handed mode. So you can go in here and it'll uh, basically allow you to do things with one hand, cool. And then there's a gesture probably that you need to do that. Z pop, um, Z pop icon, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. It just shows apps and then record screen app duplicator, um, screen edge, mistouch prevention. Um, so you can do a light, um, basically, yeah. So basically if you're like this or whatever, it won't touch it. Um, and then you can prove mistouch prevention during a call. Yeah. Obviously keep that one on, um, gesture motion, um, double tap to we get the screen, double tap to the screen. Oh, there we go. So you can double tap on, double tap off. That's sick. Um, raise to wake, auto answer. Ooh, <laughs> I'm good. Um, pick up the phone to lower ringtone volume. Cool. Um, pocket mode, flip to mute, snooze, uh, dismiss an alarm, change to the earpiece, shake to turn on the flashlight. It's kind of cool, but I don't really want to have to deal with all that. Um, then you have scheduled power on and off. Oh, that's sick. That's really sick. Okay. Accessibility, you know, text display, color, motion, magnification. You have the menu, you have screen. Okay. Let me go in here. Um, text and display, color, motion, 
all that. Remove animations, larger more, uh, mouse pointer, cool. And then magnification, and then screen touch, hold, uh, touch and hold delay, cool. Um, handy features, power button ends call. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's cool. And then we have the caption preferences. So you can do captions and all that. Um, for time's sake, I'm not going into all of this, but description of the audio, what's happening. So that's cool, flash notifications. Um, ooh, yeah, dude. Let's go green. I don't like that, but that's kind of cool. So I'm trying to turn this off though. There we go. Yeah, clearly missed touching there. But yeah, uh, so audio adjustment, you can do based on which one. So like you could move it all pretty much to where it feels like it's coming from the right if you're hard of hearing or if you are like deaf in one ear or something like that. Um, there's mono audio, so you can combine the channels when playing audio. That's kind of cool. Um, and then you have the, like I said, the accessibility, text-to-speech output. You have downloaded apps. So you can show the package name of top activity. Huh. You have Zpop, Z Voice, all these different Chinese character things that I don't know about. Um, schedule power and off accessibility so that's cool with the features got all that going on and then we will go back from features are we almost done not really we have so much more to go to nice all right password and security you can set up uh, fingerprint face recognition you can do uh, private space app lock password book so you can pretty much store passwords apps hidden um you can hide apps uh, verify before power off app guard mode modify or more security settings you got this cool and then let's just see apps hide uh oh i'm gonna actually do the this one right here keyboard where's the keyboard do 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 there we go sweet awesome yeah okay and then um you can do verify before power off. So it'll kind of give you a thing letting you know it's gonna power off. App guard mode, um, you can lock apps, I'm assuming, or... And then... Um... Okay, what else? Uh, encryption and then uh, device having apps, you can do that. And then, cool. So what else do we have? Safety and emergency, you know, SOS, quake warning. Cool, man. Um, add contacts for emergency contacts. You can do all this, which is pretty nice. Um, users and accounts, you can do all this. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, you can do the system update. So current version being 9.0.16. Let's see if they got us an update. Nope, that's okay though. And then we have the Languages, keyboard, uh, date and time. So you can select, you know, languages for the phone system and then the keyboard, which one you want, you know, either Gboard or whatever other one. Uh, you can set the time zone, you can set up, you can back up and restore, reset it, Google options, developer options. Um, and here, if you go, you can actually do something to, um, here, I can do that. We have a mocking, boom. And then we will also do, so make sure Uh, there's something that I had off. Um, yeah, so turn smart refresh rate switching off so that it doesn't drop your frame rate um, when you're in a dark room. Um, it just makes the phone feel laggy and it's annoying. So yeah, display a package name in Toast. When Toast appears, display a package name of the corresponding app. Okay, I guess that's it's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, so we have all of that. And yeah, so that's the system and update portion. We have the um, about phone. So yeah, we can go Android 14. Uh, you know, the security update is on October 5th. The uh, Android version. Is it gonna let me do the whole, uh, oh wait, actually it's up here. Yeah, boy. Uh, there's always like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's always like a fun thing you can do.
I don't really know what the fun thing is. I'm not having very much fun. What do we do here, boys? Do we grab the stars? Do we... Oh, you hold it and then they go faster. Oh, oh. What the fuck's going on here? Oh, 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 shit. Oh. What the fuck? What are we... Oh, fucking... It's a little spaceship, guys. That is fucking awesome. It'll show... Oh, dude. Classic. Classic Android move. You have the star. Oh. Dude, what the hell? That's so sick. So you can, like, fly through space. That's really... That's really cool that Google did that. Okay. That Props to Google on that. They always have uh, some cool stuff like that, so... Cool. And then, um, yeah, if you ever want to get to your developer options, you tap the build number and then, yeah, so that is the settings. And then we'll go ahead and do some other things very quickly. Uh, I will go ahead and turn the extended Ram off and then you are on, and then you guys can see the, just the difference. Um, yeah, reset the phone and then you'll see the boot up animation. It's a classic one, but yeah, so now we have 32 gigs of Ram on here pretty kick-ass. I don't know what I'd use 32 gigs for. 24 is already insane. But yeah, 32 gigs is, is pretty nuts, guys. Um, keep in mind um, that it uh, is a... Uh, how do I put this? It is freaking cool, man. Okay, yeah, anyway. Um, cool, yeah, so we got the apps and stuff. Okay, I did that. Um, basically, all the apps that come with the phone are going to be right here. We did all that, and then yeah, so I will go ahead and just show you guys some gameplay uh, real quickly. We'll do some Call of Duty because your boy likes to play some COD Mobile. Um, yeah, and we will go. If you want some Warzone gameplay, let me know. I haven't uh, tried to get it recently, so I don't know how well it's going to work. And also that VPN thing is, is a bit odd, so but I will figure it out. Okay, let me turn the volume up for y'all. Yeah, if you don't know, COD Mobile loves to blast every fucking person in existence with um, all these ads. Oh my God, okay, yeah, anyway. Multiplayer, let's go to multiplayer. Let's see, yeah, your boy is Santa. That's right, that's right. Here, we'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can catch a little bit of the fucking good times with Santa. So we rotating Rampage, all this holiday app. Hey, there we go. Yeah, we'll just go here. Let's see. So, what do we have for the sampling? And we got, so we got the Diablo. Let's just go hard, boys. Diablo. And then we go ahead and do this. And we will move the shoot here. And then, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, Enemy in sight. I'm hurt. Somebody's very angry at me. <laughs> angry. Okay. Yeah, anyway. Cool. No, no. Contact with enemy. And then I want to turn on the fast. Enemy. Wait, no, that shit. Okay. Adjustment. Ultra high. So this is 2000 Hertz response, sensitivity, all that stuff. And then performance. So yeah, you can go, I guess this is a good time to go over all the other stuff. You can, you know, do all the basic stuff. You can do uh, image quality priority, atheroscopic filtering, multi-sample anti-elasting. Basically, it's just going to improve the display quality um, performance. So the difference between the old one is the other one only went up to 720 or 16 or something. This goes to 903 megahertz for the GPU, 330 clocked at which is 0.6 less than the overclocked uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is fine. It's no big deal, I guess. But um, yeah, you have that. And then you can do the show. Uh, you can have it change up things for shoot. I just like the default one, personally. You can do voice. You can do uh, headset voice. Um, cool. Yeah, you can do shoot. So listen to sound of position, assist the location, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, okay, you can change up different uh, sound styles within headphones. It's pretty sick. So Wi-Fi low latency. 
function, allocation, so you can turn on the fan. You can change up the screen recording, um, and then you can change up all that. So yeah, you have a uh, resource something, touch buttons. Um, that's that's cool. Um, and then you also have, let's see here, what else? There's a, there's a bunch of new features I don't really know about. So there's um, hunt mode, M slang. I gotta, I gotta move real fast, guys, before uh, let's just show you guys some gameplay real quick. Uh, if I fucking don't suck ass. Oh my God, the sensitivity boys. <laughs> Literally is probably as slow as it can get. Okay. Let me go ahead and... Um, sensitivity. It's low as shit. Custom and then standard. Let's change that way up. See how we do there. We got that, and then let's do the. Cool. I mean, it's it's fast. Um, I don't really know if I notice any kind of difference between this and like, nine hundred sixty hertz, but. Yeah, so the, this is more sensitive and it'll respond faster. Uh, the concave feeling does feel pretty cool. And then when you press these down, um, it does light this up or it does, or sorry, it lights up right here, as you can see. And then, yeah, there are different colors based on the side. And then you have the flash thing going and yeah, so everything is lit up. And then, I mean, you're going to get more gameplay <laughs> out of another video for sure. Oh, look at that. My contribution was uh, exquisite. That's not the right word, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so... Um, you can do hunt mode. I don't know what that is. Uh, M slang key remapping sound equalizer. Uh, there are a lot of different like AI trigger. So maybe it will shoot for you or something like that. There's card draw assist, maybe for a card game. There is data panel, gravity X auxiliary line, um, stopwatch, crosshair macros. Yeah. Macros a lot of touch different touch things like before. Um, and yeah, it, I guess it just endlessly goes or whatever, but yeah. So you have that, and then you can see a list of different uh, things. Oh, okay, cool. Personalized auto selection. So you guess you can do the different, shows you different settings, helps you choose a card. So this is the AI stuff I guess they were talking about, maybe. Use after connection to blah, blah. Okay, distance enemies, let's say. Mark the distance to enemies. Dude, what the fuck? That is so crazy. That's weird, okay. But yeah, um... Dude, yeah, uh, yeah, and those are some pretty ass gameplay from your boy, but you got the point. You know, you can zoom in and all that stuff, and it will select. And then, yeah, I'm going to have a more in-depth video about the game space features because there's a lot more things added this year. Um, but you do have all this stuff on this side. Um, if you're wondering how I get those up there, I don't know. I didn't add it, but basically allows you to put uh, different ones. I think you can drag them or something or whatever. I, I don't know. But basically, it allows you to do that. You know, you can set up the ordinary notifications, all that Diablo mode, eco, rise, balance, all that stuff. Um, you know what I mean? And it's basically just the a classic game mode with some new features that I will go into with more depth in the future in another video when I do more research on those. But yeah, you have all that in the game settings. And then of course, we're going to go to the video thing and then we will wrap this up. So let's go to some YouTube and I will show some, uh, play some kind of video or something. Let's see here. What do we got going on here? Um, uh, what are we gonna do for not copyright? Okay, bad apple, but you can paw, but if you, <laughs> great at reading guys, bad apple, but if you pause, you can't see. Okay, weird. Um, let's just go. Um, what are we doing here? This guy's nice, this guy's a nice guy. Let's do this. Special need, SBSK guy, he's pretty sweet. Yeah. He, uh, This is nice. Um, if you are talking to autistic people though, um, you know, obviously parents have different things and they're in an interview, but yeah, uh, real quick tip 
from your boy. Um, I know a little bit about that. <laughs> um, got something close to that, unfortunately, to admit. But yeah, don't treat them like they're aliens. Like, they're being way too nice. Like, just be normal. Like, don't look at them and be all fucking weird. Like, people act weird the moment they find that out. But yeah, it's a little, little side tangent. But yeah, you got that. And then you can do, you know, all your basic apps, guys. Yeah, what else is there? Um, you know... That's basically it, guys. It's a full review. Um, I, you know, there's some gameplay. There's, it looks nice. It's got this scratchy felt thing. I really enjoy this phone. Um, yeah, and like, you know, you have a pretty much, pretty much went over everything. If there is something that I missed that you want to know, let me know. But I do believe that is everything. So yeah, that is the full review of the Red Magic, uh, Red Magic phone. And yeah, so also I guess I do have a terabyte of storage in here. Um, what else do I have? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I think I got everything. <laughs> I don't know for sure. But yeah, anyway, later guys. Thanks for watching.